In this video, let me show you how to run a custom workflow using a smart button in the Ribbon Workbench by using an XRM Toolbox tool. Now, just to give you a context, like I have a XRM Toolbox application over here. Now, in XRM Toolbox, I have installed an application called as a Ribbon Workbench. So the goal of this particular engagement is to create a custom ribbon button in the application and then run a workflow out of it. So this is my application. So as you see over here, this is my applications, which list out all the airlines. Now, if I go into any of the airline, I can see that there are various fields which I have labeled. Now, in order to write a custom workflow, what I'm going to do, I'll write a simple workflow just for demonstration purpose. You can make it as complex as you want, depending on your business process. But my workflow, what it will do, it will pick up the email address and it will paste that email address in the website. So this is a simple action which I'm going to do using that custom workflow. Now, custom workflow, which I'm going to create, it will be triggered by a click of a button. So here, somewhere here, I will keep that button. So what will happen? This is that custom button I will create using Ribbon Workbench. Once you click on that button, then this workflow will run in the background, which will copy the email address into website. So let's look into that. Now, Ribbon Workbench. So Ribbon Workbench. So if you have this tool, XRM toolbox, you can go ahead and install the application Ribbon Workbench. Now, Ribbon Workbench needs a solution. Now, the solution is separate from what other solution which you're working on. So I have already created one solution. So I'll show you one solution which I have created. So you can create a simple solution and just call it as uh, say airline ribbon okay and it should not have anything apart from that table and with nothing in it okay so it's just like you do not want to include any metadata nothing in it it's just like you go and you just say add existing table select the table so i'm just showing you some different table so you just select the table and then click on next and then don't include any object okay don't include metadata, don't include object. And this is the simple solution which we will feed into the ribbon workbench. So I've created that solution. Let's go into the ribbon workbench and then select that particular solution. So airline ribbon, and then it will start loading that particular tables ribbon. Now, as I mentioned to you, I'm going to update the form record. So if I go inside any of the airline, I should be able to create a button over there. So for that, here you will see this, this form record. So I'm going to add that custom button over here, not in the subgrid, not in the home, but I'm going to add it over here. Now there are a lot of buttons in the toolbox over here. So there is a toolbox button, split button, fly out, but I'm going to make use of something called as a smart button. Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, run workflow in that smart button. Now, when you install the ribbon workbench in XRM toolbox, you will not see the smart button. Okay, this section. Now, in order to install it, what you need to do is like you need to uh, download a solution from smart button. So there is a website named as devof1.net. So this is a website uh, and uh, the smart buttons are basically uh, part of the ribbon workbench. So you have all the instructions given over here how to download it and there is a github site by scott duro so he has created this he has authored this application so you can download this zip file and then install this as a managed solution okay so i have already done that ahead of time so if you see here i have already installed this solution and that's why i can see the smart button in the xrm toolbox Okay, so you need to do this in your environment, okay, specific environment. Now, once you do that, you will see this button. Now, okay, let's start working on this. I want run workflow. So what I'm going to do, I will take this run workflow and then uh, put it somewhere after save and new. And then it will ask me some question. It will say, what is the title you want? What is the workflow name? Do you want any confirmation text before you start the workflow and you have any success callback javascript or success call error callback javascript so i'm going to skip these two components i don't want this but i will say title of this workflow so let's call this title of the workflow as 
replicate email into website okay so that's the title of the workflow workflow name uh, let's uh, put something over here so wf email to website okay remember this workflow because we need to create this workflow and then we will uh, attach this workflow with this button now any confirmation text you want i'll say are you sure you want to copy email content into website field now this can be any custom message which you want you can just put it over there and then you can click on okay but i will not click on okay i'll just copy this workflow name now in the code i will go into my solution now remember this solution which i'm talking about is the your project solution okay so maybe my project solution is uh, maybe airline score solution okay now here i'm gonna go and then i will create a process okay so how do you create a process new automation process and here i'll create a workflow so this is like uh old workflow the custom workflow i will remove this run workflow in the background and i'll paste the name this is the name which i hooked up into the smart button workflow right so i'll put this and the table which i'm referring to is the airline table so let me pick up airlines table over here start from blank good click on create and now i'm creating a workflow now there are some settings which you need to do in the workflow while creating a workflow i'll show you how to do that so let it run as an on-demand process uh i don't want it to be created on any uh, row creation or something i'll keep the scope as organization and i'll execute it as a owner of the workflow so this is a simple thing i've done here add a step i'll just click on add a step and then it should show me update a record so i'll say update a record now what do i want once this workflow runs is to copy the email address content so i will set the properties and i'll copy the email address content into website so let me close this again let me click on set properties and now this website should be replaced with the email address content so i'll select this website and on the right hand side i will say look for airlines table and go for email address add this okay add this over here and then if you click on okay the email address will come over here so email airlines all good very simple process click on save and close and then you you have an option to do other things also you can just go ahead and say oh i want to stop this workflow so once you click on stop workflow uh, this particular line item will get added over here and you say stop workflow with the status of succeeded so i'm good with this i'll click on save and once it is saved you can go ahead and activate this workflow So it will start to activate the workflow so i'll say okay activate this workflow so now we have created a simple workflow which copy the website content into that uh, email address into a website field go into your ribbon workbench now here we have specified the workflow name we have set the title we have set the start workflow confirmation text i'm good with it i'll click on okay okay now this is a button which got created i'm okay with it just click on publish click on okay so a couple of things to remember when you install ribbon workbench smart button does not get added automatically you need to install that custom managed solution download it from uh, the website which i've just shown you and then once you do that you should see a smart button controls on the left hand side in the xrm toolbox ribbon workbench and once you have that uh, button you can use say run workflow create a custom button specify which workflow you're going to run you need to give the name of the workflow in the back end we have created that workflow as a part of the process and once that process is created then on click of that button that code should run so this smart button is so smart enough that on click of a button it will run a workflow now the use cases can be you know if you want to change the status of the form 
uh, from draft to open to close to completed to cancel to query it, you can do that using this. So you can run a background <laughs> workflow process and it can do those works. You can even send out an email, you know. So in the workflow, you can create an option to send an email or notification or a welcome email. So, so there are the use cases endless. Uh, but with the out of the box functionality uh, in Power Apps, you will not be able to perform this action. So this is bit a nice bit of addition. So I've seen that now the uh, the ribbon workbench has published the ribbon. Uh, so let me go into the application. So this is my application. So let me go into one of the records. So I'll go into Swiss Air. Now in Swiss Air, I can see this button has been created. Now remember, like don't put a big name because if you put a big name, it won't take up the entire space and then it will put dot dot. So this is the button. If you just hover the mouse, you see a replicate email into website. So make sure that you put a proper uh, name. Now the goal is if you see this email over here, now what will happen when I click this button, this will be replicated over here. So let's do that. So replicate email into website. Now, once you click it, it has given you a message. Are you sure you want to copy email content into website field? Now, from where this has come, this has come from the message which you have specified. So remember, like we specified this message. Are you sure you want to copy? So it is coming from there. So I'll say OK. And OK. So once you click OK, this application will run. And now, as you see over here, this website is replaced with the email address let's do it for one more uh, airline so let me go into say emirates and now emirates does not have an email address as you see over here so let me put as emirates at emirates.com so make sure that you have that content so that that content get copied into the website so i'll click on save now what should happen on the click of a button this email should be copied as a part of the website click here are you sure you want to copy into the field uh, I'll say OK, and then workflow will run the background and then it will copy it. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically use a smart button to execute a custom workflow in the background using smart buttons. Thanks for watching.